Today's video is going to be all about my favorite lighting tool and what I'm talking about is using atmosphere or haze in your projects. So in a bunch of films or movies that you guys have watched, you probably have seen these god ray, sun ray kind of things and whenever you notice that, the DP is always using haze in that scenario and that's how you get those cool light streaks in movies and for a lot of these hazy scenes that you see in films a lot of the time they are super contrast heavy because you need a lot of hard light which creates more shadows and more contrast so i like using haze for anything that calls for high contrast or anything moody but on on the other hand Haze when using soft light or honestly whatever daytime scenes especially haze can will always lower your contrast so think of it as like all uh, like I said before all these particles in the air are getting reflected so you have a lot more light being reflected everywhere which will um, a symptom of that is is a lower contrast in whatever scene you're shooting with haze. I pretty much use haze in every single YouTube video um, just to up the production value a little bit and it's just a great tool to to have and especially for YouTube videos where I'm kind of like condensed in my apartment and I have to like try to make these cool shots or whatever haze just kind of adds a little bit of spice to whatever I'm trying to shoot especially for these YouTube videos so if you don't have a Fresnel or the projector amount thing you can wait for the sun to get to the right spot in whatever room you're shooting in and the sun acts like a giant spotlight because it's so far away and the sun will create these insanely beautiful light rays in your images when you use haze so for these shots i wanted to show you guys a kind of a moody example of what you could do with with the haze and light rays something that I recognized while shooting this was when those trees like move in front of the sunlight I guess um, you can tell it just gives some really awesome movement to the scene and texture uh, that you couldn't get without using haze there are literally endless ways you can use this tool um, for your filmmaking and high contrast low contrast situations um, haze can just be a great tool to have on set, especially those like little atmosphere cans. As a DP, it's nice to just bring those around because if you're on set and you're like, oh my God, this would be perfect for haze, and you don't have it, it sucks. So I recommend always keeping a bottle or two of haze with you or, or investing in a haze machine is, I completely don't regret doing that. So that's another option. In college, when I first started using Haze, I would always demand it to be on set because I thought it would make or break a shot because I, I thought it added so much production value. I just wanted to talk about how Haze can be a really cheap way to up your production value and give your future projects a new look. And again, it's just another tool that we have. And um, that's all I really wanted to talk about this week. And I'll see you next week.